G'day guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're whacking this rifle in a chassis. So this has happened a while back, um, probably, what are we in April now? Probably four months ago, I picked up the chassis for the 22 project. And I'm only just getting to this now because there's been a whole lot of shit going on. So um, I did try to shoot this test a couple of times uh, and every time it was blowing a fucking gale by the time I got out to the range. Um, because it takes me a while to get there. I'm like, well, fuck it, I'll try. Um, and, you know, I try and then it's not shooting very well at all uh, because of the wind. So I had to wait for some decent weather. So with the chassis, there was a few options we could have gone down. I was looking at KRG Bravos. I was looking at um, a few of the other cheaper options um, from MDT. There's the MDT, whatever the fuck room fire thing it is. I did have a quick look at the SCSA chassis, which didn't really tickle my fancy at all. Um, and then I decided that, well, since I've built a 22250 in a chassis, so that's a ticker, it's a ticker T3X, it's got a 26 inch stainless steel IBI barrel. It's in an MDT XRS. It's got a Timney two stage trigger. And since I've built that, I sort of figured, well, if I'm building this 22, I may as well build it essentially as a trainer for that. And it, in my mind, if it's the same, then obviously, you know, everything about it is gonna be the same in the hands. It's gonna be easy for me to shoot between the two. So I ended up going with the MDT chassis. So it's the MDT XRS chassis. I've put the, uh, enclosed forend on it. I think it looks pretty bloody cool. It's added a lot of weight. I've got the same bipod set up as what I have on the other gun as well. So literally everything about it is exactly the same except for the trigger. This has still got a stock ticker trigger in it, which is sitting down at about, I think it's 1.8 pounds. I have that breaking out at the moment. That was one of the modifications I did in a previous video. When I went and did the previous videos, I actually shot the last of that batch of ammunition that we had been doing this entire time. Now I did say in the previous video that once we change ammo, the accuracy may or may not change as well because we're shooting different lots of ammunition now. So the tests are a little bit um, skewed. So we, we can't see the same accuracy gains for the different modifications we're doing because we have changed one major component being the ammunition. So I've gone to, it's still CCI standard, um, still going the same velocity, but this is obviously very new and the stuff I was shooting was about a decade old. Um, I, I fired probably 20 rounds to fail it up first. Um, because obviously they've got different types of waxes on the projectiles. Um, so, you know, when you change ammos, it can affect you like that. So I shot 10 rounds just at a plate just to fail it up. And then I shot um, a couple of groups uh, and they were, one was 0.8 something and one was a 0.6 something. And then I shot the test, our normal test of five, five round groups. From worst to best was a 0.616, a 0.583, a 0.525, another 0.525, and a 0.326, which gives us an average of 0.515. Now, previously, when we had shot the rifle just with stock modifications, that was um, the ticker vertical grip um, and taking out the barrel channel doohickey, um, we shot an average of 0.462. Now, so the accuracy change is we have lost 23% accuracy. However, we have changed the major part being the ammunition, so I'm not too concerned about that. That is now our new baseline, 0.515. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a trigger in it, and I'm gonna put the same trigger as what I have in the 22250. Now, it's the Timony two-stage trigger. I'm gonna set the weights of those exactly the same. So the first stage, second stage pull are gonna be set exactly the same across the board so I can practice trigger manipulation across both guns the same way. I've been shooting the 22 to 50 a lot. Um, if you've seen my review on the One Leaf Night Sight, that's the gun I use for that. I shoot that gun fairly regularly and I would say more regularly than any other gun I have because all my other guns are hunting guns, not target guns and I don't go out and blat off, you know, 30 rounds of seven rem mag every other weekend. So that's the idea. I've already bought that trigger. It's on the way in the mail. Got a second hand off, uh, I think it was double SAA gun sales. So that's already coming. So those two guns are gonna be set up exactly the same. The only difference is one has a Falcon Endura 5 to 25. 
sorry, 3.5 to 25, whatever the fuck it is, and the other one has a Discovery Optic scope. Funnily enough, the Discovery Optics is cheaper than the Falcon Endura. Falcon Endura is kind of marketed as like a baseline entry level PRS scope. It's about two or $300 cheaper and is actually a hell of a lot better. So that, that Falcon Endura is gonna stay on the 22 for now. Um, it may get swapped out, so I've got the same optic on both guns. That would be pretty cool, but we'll see what happens. Now, some people have said that they wanted to see the trigger happen earlier before the chassis. This happened all off the Patreon votes, so that's what they voted for, that's what they get. If I was doing this from scratch, some of these modifications may have been done in a different order. The trigger's really the last thing of like, what you as a user can do to get a more accurate gun. Now, after we do that, yes, we are going to look at match ammunition. Now the whole premise, and I'm sick of fucking reiterating this because people don't know how to read. Um, the whole premise behind this test has been to pick an off the shelf non-match ammunition and see how accurate we can get it by doing modifications to the firearm. That's the whole premise of the series. Now that we've pretty much done this, so the next test will be with the same ammo, this same box. I've got enough left in that box to um, shoot some more groups. So we're gonna put the trigger in it. We'll shoot the test again and see if we get better than an average of 0.515, what we got with this test. And then we're gonna go down the route of match ammunition. I have some RWS match uh, in my gun case at the moment. So we're gonna shoot some of that because I've got a brick of it. Um, now, if you want me to shoot a few different match ammunitions, we can do that. Um, I'm gonna start stockpiling a few different types of match ammunition because down the track, what I do wanna do with this gun is I wanna rebarrel it. Uh, I wanna put an IBI match 22 barrel into it. And yeah, so I think that'd be pretty cool. The way that these guns are set up is the barrel is not threaded into the receiver. So I want to go down the path of either threading or internally threading the receiver to receive a threaded barrel and or a thermo fit um, between the two. We'll see what happens when we get down to that path, but that's kind of where we're going at the moment. So thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. I'll see you next video and hooroo.